The Substance is a 2024 satirical body horror film co-produced and written and directed by Coralie Fargate. Fargate? Maybe I said it wrong. You know, Demi Moore, Margaret Qualley, and Dennis Quaid star in this movie. It was an international co-production, you know, United Kingdom, then United States and France. The plot, right, follows a fading celebrity Moore who uses a black market drug that temporarily creates a younger version of herself, which is the actress Quayley, with horrifying side effects. The substance was selected to compete for the big, you know, war, the palm, the or, I think it's, spe it's pronounced like that in 2024 uh, Cannes Films Festival. It basically won that, got a standing ovation that lasted nine minutes, nine minutes, eleven minutes, or thirteen minutes. So basically, they they reporting they don't even know how long, but people kept clapping for like that long for nine minutes for at the ending. Good. Yeah, they liked it that much. Universal was going to distribute, but for some reason they they stepped away from the project. They probably felt like it was too controversial, or something was going to happen where you know. Like, oh, it's definitely controversial <laughs> exactly so universal was going to distribute but they didn't get it so they ended up getting um somebody called mubi or mubi m-u-b-i yeah, and, and then at, at first you know it was it was like uh you know united kingdom ireland germany austria latin america so it went to all those foreign um spots or places and then it hit the u.s and um the box office was in the lot because you know it was released of, of as of October 30th, 2024. The substance has grossed 7.1 million in the United States and Canada, and 6.8 million in other territories for a worldwide of 13.9. They were competing against Transformers 1 and Never Let Go with uh, Halle Berry, and. They didn't do too good and stuff. The only thing is, is that you know a lot of people like it, and they gave they have a Rotten Tomatoes uh, rating of ninety one percent out of two hundred and eighty one critics that reviewed are positive. Yeah. So, so it gave it a real good positive thing. So that's what's crazy because it's like you don't hardly see that many people talking about this on YouTube. So it's like it's weird. Yeah. But this movie deserves some kind of attention. But lately, Yoda would have been crazy. Yeah. Right. I mean Oh, he would have did it. He probably would have won more, more, more shit to say. But you know how he plays like an asshole, good too, because he just has that shit face. So I think like, his movie was that shit that he did with Tyrese, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his yep. last movie. That was his last. Damn, this one would have been his last for real, but you know, that's it was 1992. I think it's 1992. Yeah, nah, I think if Ray Liotta would have did it, he would have been more of a scumbag. Yeah, like more serious scumbag, no, more like scumbag. not funny scumbag, like how. This now you know, you you know he was his his good fellas last. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he would have done that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, but Dennis Quaid is like he did his thing. I ain't gonna front. He was the third lead besides the two girls. But I, they can't even talk a lot because that movie was like you only had to pay Demi Moore and Dennis Quaid because I don't know who the fuck is Margaret Qualley or what of Qualley. That's and the, it's like, the, the young girl. No, that's the, what I'm the saying. Young version. Yeah, I know, I know you don't know, but. but I don't know what she's done ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's what been, she has, She's been in other shit. I've seen her in other shit, but I, I just can't get what. I don't know if it was like a horror movie I've seen her in or, or in some other yeah. other show on Netflix or movie, but I've seen her face. It's like, like when you get that feel or you don't forget a face, so that's what yeah. I get from her. Like, I've seen yeah. her before, but it's just. It's like know. that. Like that movie was like really budgety. Like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. they never, they never left the studio. They never left their apartment. So it was like it was filmed walking outside. So it was like that movie was budget friendly filming. Like you see the whole way they got that shit looked like I painted that shit. Demi Moore's character of uh, what was huh? the vibe she gave you beginning. What was the vibes like as far as like when it gets into the movie and it's getting good or crazy? Like I think that um Demi Moore did her thing in this one, like she really did her thing, like out of all her movies, I think she really did she her best. She really bared herself in this film too. Yeah, she was really she let it all hang out. She was not but you could see that she was like Everything's out, including the bush. Yeah, everything's out. <laughs> 
the cheeks is out, everything out. But you could tell that she was just, it was just like a, a battle between, you know, your inner demons. Because at, at the end of the day, it's like she knew it was her. Like, regardless yeah. of whatever, when she started seeing it as, as somebody else is when she's, that's what her downfall started. So it was like, you could see the buildup of, of, of the, she's already like 50, washed up. So it's like, it's killing her, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a young world now. Yeah, because so. she's like competing with other younger, more attractive, more firm and, and tight and all that, uh, actresses and, you know, young and up and coming. So it was like, almost yeah. like the whole, like, in with the new and get rid of the old. Yeah. And it didn't, and it didn't do the justice that she was, a. uh, uh uh, a dance, uh, one of those workout uh, dance. Yeah, aerobics instructor. Aerobics instructor. That's so what yeah. she has, like a show because she, like, looking it up, she was an uh, an academy Academy Award winner, so she was like an actress and and all this other stuff. But like her ending thing was like the uh, aerobics instructor show. Yeah. So it was like she had to keep this no matter what, and it's like it was basically like her. I don't know, just like the oh, ending of, of, a, of a grand career or just like something to like fall back on because she can't yeah, do no more acting. Yeah, because she knew it was over, you know. Dennis yeah. Quaid roasted her. Dennis Quaid roasted her. Yeah. Like when you when you see, when you hear the roast fast, you're going to understand. Yeah. But he roasted her and she already knew it was over for her career. Now, what I want to say too is like, you know, without even spoiling yeah. and stuff, but you know, like when she's in it and she's like, she's made the decision to to take the substance right it's not just a body horror film but it's also like a, a message or, or almost like a a mirror image of mm -hmm. how ugly and evil yeah. beauty could be right it's, it's basically the battle we all have with ourselves yeah your worst is basically your worst enemy is always going to be yourself nobody else just yourself exactly. your biggest rival is yourself this is what this movie basically showing. And it has like a strong message of not just body horror, but like insecurities oh. of, of, of oh. you know, of just everything. Feeling low, forgotten, you oh. know, not attractive enough. So it's like her character was like one of those, uh, uh, she's used to the fame and, and the, the attention mm -hmm. and everybody on top of her. And now she's feeling like a has-been and now it's like over for her and... And it's like almost like death. It's close as like death for her because it's like if she doesn't have this, then then that's it. Like it's the, the there's no more living. There's no more life. Yeah, to live. but it's like it's like you kind of get two perspectives of this story. You have, you you know what I'm saying? It's like yep. you see her vision through the story, and then you see um, Sue's vision through her eyes. So it's like it's like you see fifty, and then you see eighteen year old. And there's two different lives. Yep. And, right. it, 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 and it really it really took a toll on her, like Exactly. But it, it's all based on, like like I said I was telling you, it's like the inner demon thing, bro. When you when you basically gotta fight yourself is horrible. Exactly. It's no winning so you can make peace with yourself. Folks, uh we're gonna have a spoiler section we're gonna be discussing everything that happened as far as like you know the details and how ugly it is if you don't want to know anything about this i suggest you just click off now let's get into it right yeah. substance so she takes the substance the serum right the activator that is like know. some green neon kind of liquid that she mm -hmm. takes she injects it so she's like she's had it she had a car accident some nurse dude gives her the 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 uh the, the the flash drive that that shows like it's almost like an advertisement the substance you are one and all this other extra shit right so she takes it because out of desperation like oh yeah you can have a younger self your younger you a separate person that comes out of you right and it's like watching that right let's just talk about that the beginning stages when she takes it and then you know when sue comes right out of her back what was, it was that different. it was something totally different and new for me because it was it's like you it's not cloning it's a whole new whole new thing like yeah 
It's not it's not cloning though. It's like it's a whole nother person. It's just a younger, better you. She when she takes it, she and Demi Moore falls to the ground. And then when you see like the lumps in her back moving and all that, almost like how alien and the, the alien moves in somebody's stomach. Her back split. Yeah. Like split in half. Like through from the top of her neck all the way to like almost her butt crack. It split. Yeah. There was no need for no cutting at all. This movie definitely is like a contender as like one of the top like body horror, uh 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 just like like straight like practical like like everything looked it so much practical, no like no hardly like no special effects and see not too oh, no. CGI because it was like it felt more real. Like when it's like yeah, yeah. practical, when it has all the you know it just gives you like a more real especially with what she was like the stages of it like it's just crazy like you already know like i was telling you it felt like the fly watching the fly when he went through that grotesque transformation and it's like everything's falling off like she goes through the same thing but it was because of okay we go right back to it sue now what you thought of sue compared to demi so like if people don't understand like you already know if you part watching this section you're probably seeing it already so with the sue sue is the the clone or the younger self that came out of demi right mm -hmm. and it's like they got two different kind of di uh, personalities or or mentalities right but the thing is that they supposedly are one they're the same person so Definitely. what was your what was your opinion what is your opinion on on what they did like how they acted and and like the annoying things between them two i felt like they was the same person it was just the younger version and uh and uh, like they both was doing stuff to each other so it was like bro they is they now different they're the same person and she was infatuated she was even demi was even infatuated of the younger version of her mm -hmm. and stuff like almost like like in love in love and like she couldn't resist it because remember in the film they got to do a seven day cycle right mm -hmm. so you know that's how you cycle it so everything be unhealthy but if you go out of that seven day cycle and pass that then that's it you're gonna start to get the side effects the 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 deterioration and all the freaking nasty freaking damn deformities that happens to the body and mm -hmm that's the problem the difference between demi's character and 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 Quayley's character is that the younger version was more about like going out having fun and trying to have a life that she couldn't have and then by not cycling those seven days was fucking up demi more even more because it was yeah. rotting her body yeah but that was the thing they both wanted to do the same thing the only thing is that demi more was already too old you see that she tried to go on that date and when she started to look at the pictures of her younger self it all went out the window so it was like she wanted the same thing the younger one had and it was like it's y'all both the same person and that's what she never got through the whole movie and, she and thought of herself like somebody else and she wasn't it was the same person they wanted the same thing and that's the problem with them because you remember you know, it, like it's like a unity, right? It's like an agreement. Mm -hmm. Like you know, one takes care mm -hmm. of the other body, giving them food and all that, and then you know they're taking that, I guess, the spinal fluid or something as a as a stabilizer for the younger version to keep on going without freaking having yep. headaches and seizures and panics and all yep. this other extra shit. I think these work. That's exactly. all you get. No <clears throat> exactly. More than so it's like you know, they, all they had to do was just you know go by the agreement go by freaking what they were supposed to do and everything would have been fine i still me personally would never fucking decide to i would never decide to get that i would never decide to take an injection as opposed to give me a younger self no because no, everything like there's always a side effect a crazy side effect at that no, that's not it's not worth it it's not worth it i'm better with a clone especially what happens to her in this one Oh. yeah yeah it's not worth it the the all the all the stuff is not worth it it's not worth it it's not it's not it's I mean, not this movie definitely is, is like uh like i can say like you know it's one of those rare freaking damn mm -hmm. movies that we don't get as much yeah. as far as like it has some like demon i would say evil presence to it because it's like 
you know, people look at beauty and all that, and then they can just look at it as maybe like a mental thing. But it's like beauty can also be psychological and supernatural too, because you see in in the film when, you know, there's times when she wanted to quit, she wanted to stop, she can't. Because yeah. she was so like obsessed, going crazy, psycho, and in love with the younger self, and that what the younger self was getting all the all this attention, all the the uh, the uh, the offers and jobs. And for a person to be like the way she is, willing to take the serum, willing to go through all that, why is it hard to just do that? do the seven day cycle and everything will be fine and i guess you know you'll just be doing it until you die right but mm -hmm. in the film she kept on making decisions like oh no nah, let me let's you know stretch it out you know oh no 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 just one more day just one more day and then another day and then another day and by the time she kept on skipping and messing up the cycle it just mm -hmm. like it was almost like a selfishness in one Mm -hmm. It wasn't thinking about the other one. It's like, yo, you need the other body. Yep. And if you don't take care of the other body, then you're assed out. So it was almost like a, like a crazy, psychotic, maybe like demonic or maybe supernatural kind of a like mentality to Demi's character. Because you see how crazy she went to with she wanted to she wanted to go out with a, with an old school classmate and, and 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 come on the guy wasn't like an attractive handsome guy that maybe she had a crush on it was like one of those nerdy kind of guys back in the day that you just probably wouldn't even give that much attention but because she started becoming a little bit more deformed and and insecure she wants to make the phone call and get that little bit of desperate attention because that's what it was from her yeah from the you know it you know it definitely was that's not her type it's not her type yeah it this this definitely can be like a message to like how ugly disgusting really grotesque and <laughs> evil that you know beauty could be because everybody yeah. just looks at beauty like oh yeah you know you 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 crazy about makeup or, or or doing all these other extra surgeries and stuff and then you end up looking like freaking crazy looking after freaking 40 plus freaking damn plastic surgeries but this is like something going beyond that like i'm telling you bro when she when she stopped like when they didn't work together as one is when they knew it was over yep it was because every time they called, the guy kept telling them, yeah. y'all won. There's no, she, is no her, it's yeah, you. He kept trying to, like, blame the other mm -hmm. younger version. She's like, oh, she's going crazy. She freaking damn did not freaking go by the agreement. And the guy kept saying on the phone, you know, like, you are one. Like, basically mm -hmm. saying, you are the one that's doing it, not us. Yeah. I feel like they never took the time to try to at least communicate with each other. Because, you know... You could write a letter to Demi, and and then you're yeah, explaining that, and she could have wrote a letter to her. It's like they exactly. never really tried to communicate to make themselves one. It was like it was like a battle, and and that's and you already know the younger one is always gonna think it's younger better. So it was no, it was no, it was no winner for Demi. And then the 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 ending when when they finally do get to separate because you remember she. She ends up getting so grotesque, like looking like an like a haggard old witch, old mm -hmm. lady and stuff, all hunchback. And she wants to stop it. She wants to end it and stuff. And then she doesn't end it because she's like, she just pauses and starts staring at the young girl. Like, nah, wait, we got a special day. We got we got this New Year's Eve ball that we're supposed to host. So she's about mm -hmm. to like end it so that that's it. No more damage. And like an idiot, she ends up freaking in reviving her. And she they separate, they go at it, you already know. But for some reason I'm trying to figure out how the hell does the younger Sue get all those special powers to like Superman kick Dimmy across the room. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> she got she got this special upgrade at the end. Yeah, like that, that was all that adrenaline. That's why it says like something supernatural. Unless they saying like a clone has super freaking natural like strength nah, or something. I like, feel I feel like they OD'd with the kick. 
Like yeah. they just, they just OD. They didn't know what they did until they saw it. Like, oops. Two times, two times, nigga. She, she done freaking damn Superman kick freaking damn Demi across the oh. room. You see Demi flying across the room, nigga. Like Why? Superman slapped her or something. <laughs> like it was. But like you know that. what? But you know what? To me, I feel like the only person that will benefit out of this is a couch potato. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Now you know what? You go work, I'll stay home for seven days and whatever. Yeah. But it's like it's like your bro, there's no way you're gonna coexist in a life where you can only be seen for seven days, bro. Yeah. It's really hard. Like that's why I was like, Yeah, you could you could do it for now, but not you're not gonna be able to get that schedule for them forever. And then, you know what I'm saying? and then the younger Sue wanted to have boyfriends or men staying with her and while yeah. the other body in the other room. That's what I'm saying. Like, like that life, you could not be with nobody. Like, you have to really explain to your lover this situation. Like, listen, the benefits of this, you got me at 50 and you got me at 18. Exactly. Are you all right with that? Because it's like, who wants to wake up and it's like, oh, shit, your mother's here. <laughs> it's really hard. Right? Exactly. Like, exactly. Like it, it was like it basically the film exposes the uglies and desperation and in individuals, oh, bro. Like, like you know, like Demi's character, uh, uh, Elizabeth Sparkle, was like was just like has so much ugly inside her mind yeah. and stuff that the desperation yeah. of just still being on top, she was willing to do that. And damn, bro, like. Just her end, how mm -hmm. everything went in stages, and then to 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 get Superman kicked twice, <laughs> then 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 the freaking damn younger Sue is kicking the crap out of her ribs, opening mm -hmm. her up. I never seen yeah. that. Uh, open a kind of whoop ass on her. Wouldn't wouldn't that be like a, a bright, like the kid bright or Superman that that's mm. so powerful or, or dark side to kick the side of your ribs and open you up like that's how hard she was kicking Demi Moore's character see but the thing is it's like there was one but it was like they had separate minds that was where everything was crazy because it's like she wanted to do what she wanted to do and she wanted to do what she wanted to do it was they wasn't trying to coexist with the plan bro yeah they didn't even communicate they, yeah they that's didn't one communicate thing about that, they yeah. didn't do none of that they all they did was just got mad at each other and did shit to each other to get each other more like you know what I'm saying like little like you are just like the younger you a little you know what I'm saying so that's why I was like yo it was the same person bro and it's yeah. just like 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 the inner battle with yourself, bro. Like your inner self. I'm telling you, your worst enemy. Yep. This, yeah, this film definitely recommend you watch it. You know I mean, it's a good watch, a good, not, and especially now on a, on a, on on October. You already know Halloween. Exactly. This would be a perfect movie, like if you want to watch and stuff, because if you're looking for like gore and and, and everything, old it's school, like, and it's a, it's yeah. that it's that old school gore, you know, with no CG, you know, saying straight makeup, straight, you know, costume. Like like I told you, this is a contender to be up there in the top with like the Fly, Hellraiser, mm -hmm. all those movies that have like body horror and transformations and and, and everything <laughs> flesh and tearing and. It, it's this movie like, definitely yeah yeah i recommend it folks uh when you get a chance to check out the substance leave it in the comment section what you think of it and how does it hold up against all the other classics of body horror